Okay, let me tell you about a fucking place that is Karnaka. Gangs shit and rape all over the place. People slaughtering other people for few coins. There's no god in Karnaka and certainly no fucking law to stop this place from purging. Okay, let's move on with the story. First stop was the black market. It's a place where you can buy illegal weapons, ammunition and other shit. But of course you'll need a lot of money for that. I figured I could rob some idiot and be done with it. So what do we got? Rich people, commonwealth and hobos. Rich people are assholes who live in rich districts. That means there'll be a lot of guards. I'm not good with that because I don't wanna get killed. Okay, commonwealth. Even that's too dangerous. As I saw one dude just fuck two guys up with a pipe. So what's left? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the hero of the story is a guy who robs homeless people. I don't even know if I can call him a hero. You know, because of a mass murderer thing. Okay, so I found his hobo asking for coins. He also spoke about some freaking blood flies. I figured he's crazy. Lonely and worth shit is society, so I threw a ball to his big ugly mug and knocked him out. Took all the coins he had and went straight to the black market. The shopkeeper showed me his wares, and especially one amazing crossbow modification. He was like, you got to buy this man, it's, it's fucking crossbow upgrade, just look at that shit. I was like, I don't know, it looks kinda expensive, but it's, it's a fucking crossbow and I bought it. I figured I could just take my money back later that day by robbing the store. While I was leaving, some strange woman caught my attention. She said, I have something that might interest you. She said that she can help me with anything if I do her a favor. Of course I need to go to the alchemist in the Adermeyer Institute. It's well guarded place, more like a castle and I have no idea how to even fucking get there. Because the guards are securing every passage. So I asked her if she knows how to get there without getting caught. She knew how to get there but she asked for a favor. Bring her a body. Like what the fuck is wrong with you lady? Why do you even need a body? Like what would you do with a dead body? Eat, rape, marry and live long beautiful life somewhere in the Pacific Island? But that's not on my business so I figured why shouldn't I help crazy woman get her body? So what is the worst thing that can happen? What do I need to do is to go to the overseer's office and find that dead guy, take his body to a crazy girl and shit is done. First I got to get to the overseer's office and to do that I need to go through the abandoned apartment. Because that's the safest way. <laughs> but wait, this is where it gets interesting. And trust me, it's going to get creepy. Remember that hobo who talked about some blood flies? That shit is real. As soon as I came to the apartment's window I saw them, flying all over the place. It was infested with those fucking mosquitoes, big ass fuck mosquito and there was some kind of nest on the ceiling. I heard if I move slowly they won't attack me. I was moving very carefully but the flies got angrier every step I took until the motherfuckers started attacking me. I smashed their nest as fast as I could and as fast as I destroyed it flies backed away. So the plan is if you see blood flies nest destroy it immediately. Ok I kept going, the place was dirty as shithole and empty as fuck, nothing to steal, nothing valuable to loot, only blood flies, blood on the walls and few dead bodies. Fucking hate that kind of places. Fuck the blood flies, fuck the dead bodies and fuck the shit in the corners. It's time to leave. But wait, suddenly I heard some footsteps. There was a guy climbing down the stairs. Oh, okay, not a guy, a fucking maniac, some kind of motherfucker, I don't even know, I was like... Fuck this shit! He was like talking to me, trying to scare me. But then I remember I have a crossbow, so I just shot him in his fucking head as soon as he opened his mouth again. But seriously, I don't know what the fuck was that. Some kind of zombie probably. And this is no joke, I was legit scared at the moment. Okay, let's go get the body. So I left the freaking apartment, sneaked to our Sears office. It was pretty easy because I can't teleport. Killed few guards, of course, and carried the body. Or should I say package to a crazy woman? So, she turned off the electricity so I could pass the railroad without getting electrocuted. Amazing! But before I went to the institute, I had some unfinished business with a black market dealer. Unlocked the door to the shop, sneaked up behind him, knocked him out, robbed the place clean and left. Easy. It was not that easy. Still got seen by guard, so I pulled out my sword and you know the rest. Got to the carriage and traveled to a castle called Adermeyer Institute. 
The place was well guarded as I expected, but no one stands in Corvo's way. So yeah, fast killing montage for you guys. Cheers! And I'm here, right next is the Hypatia the Alchemist. She might help me with the fucking crown killer mystery. She seemed out of place, something was bothering her mind. She acted all nuts. Do you... do you hear something? Like fucking mental. She knew where Sokola was, he was taken by some lady to meet Kirin Jindash. <coughs> yeah, that's the name of the dude. As soon as she said it, something weird happened. She started hearing something. Sounds, voices, I don't know. The thing is that it was silent. Nothing. While she was butchering some bird, I decided to look around. I found a spiked head. It looked like it was just chopped off recently. For what purpose? I can't even imagine. But it felt wrong. Something was wrong with the place. But I could not get it. Until I walked into the other room. There was a dude. Alive. Well, at least I could call him that. His face was burned, he was all bruised and scarred shitless. He was telling me, Hypatia, Hypatia. The shit got real pretty fast. As soon as he said, she is the crown killer. It happens that Hypatia is not herself. Got infected with some kind of high-tech virus that can be healed with some serum. That is, as it happens to be, right here in Adermine Institute. But I thought, no problem, she definitely looks like a person that I can handle easily. So I just need to find a serum. And BAM! I hear some kind of scream and table just fell through the window. It was Hypatia that threw it. She looked really different, demon eyes, crazy haircut and fucking zombie-like movement. I knew I'm fucked. She went straight after the poor guy who was injured. So I got lucky. As soon as that happened, I started running to a place where I can make the counter serum. So yeah, I know how to make meth, how hard can it be to make this shit. So I made the serum and went back after Hypatia, teleported behind that thing and hit it with a big motherfucking dose of serum. So I saved her, she got better fast, I told her that she could stay in my ship of rebels and that everything will be alright. Next up to the Duke's grand inventor, Kyrin Jindosh. So what do we got? We found the alchemist helped some wanted criminal get dead body, robbed a black market store, fought blood flies infestation, a zombie, and figure out who the crown killer was. Seems pretty good to me. Well, that's enough for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this sort of let's play. Just wanted to say thank you for watching and have a nice day.